guests and make changes that normally would not happen as a result of them being women. But what I witnessed was women who, young women who were strong and dedicated and willing to do the work beyond the call of duty, you know, to make a difference in their communities, whether it was um, supporting in getting, evacuating people when there were floods, for example, or helping to um, escort elderly people to some of the health screenings that we did, whether it was the cleanups where it wasn't just the able-bodied young men who were getting involved, but also the young women, you know. Um, I think in many ways, being a female parliamentary candidate at the time inspired many young women to just go ahead and do it and not look at them and themselves and think, oh, but I'm a woman and there's a man there who could do it, you know. And in some ways, we forced some of the gender, gender stereotyping aside because if, you know, it's, it's quite interesting though, because just talking about gender stereotyping, there were many times when I had to remind some of the men on the team that don't forget your parliamentary candidate is a woman, you know, you're speaking as though I'm a man, I'm not a man. So let's at least have that respect for women. Let's have that recognition of the fact that women are capable. I'm not, I'm not different from other women, you know, the women there have children, I have children, you know, maybe I'm a bit smaller than some of the ladies, but the point is not to see that, not to stop seeing that the candidate was a woman was a, a big challenge as well, because um, as you are all aware as women in the various institutions, we're still having to deal with the fact that Unfortunately, to a large extent in many areas, it's still a man's world and we still have to fight to even be acknowledged for what we do. We have to work almost 10 times as hard at times to be given the credit that men would receive for doing a lot less. So um, I think we, we still have a long way to go, but I'm, I'm happy to be here because it says that we're making a lot of progress. You know, this has been an all-day event, so I would like to acknowledge Charter House for this um, very courageous move, and I hope that it will be an ongoing, ongoing event. Since I was a child, I didn't, I didn't get given um, preferences because I was a girl. I had to do everything on merit. And whatever it was that I was taught, whatever it was I had to do, I never thought of it in the sense that oh, because I'm a girl, it will be made easier for me. However, if we are to achieve that objective of having equal representation at some point, because mind you, the Affirmative Action Bill doesn't talk about 50-50. It's still a ratio that's much less than that.